All right, hello everyone. We're going to jump into this in a second here. Hello, hello. Hmm, okay. We've got eight people in here already. Hello, everyone. Hi, Ken. Hi, Al. All right, we're going to give it another 30 seconds or so, and then we'll start. I already started to outline my little critter. This is the Easter critter. Hello, uh, Jack and Jenny. Welcome back. Yes, happy Tuesday. Hello, Christine. Hello, Elizabeth. Yes, we've got a good crowd. We're going to get started here because it's going to take us a while to cut these um, ears out. So I may as well start. First thing you want to do is get your, your, uh, to draw where the top of the nose is going to be. And for references, um, it's roughly not quite maybe seven eighths of an inch down from the top and you want to kind of have a big nose again so that's the first thing and then we're going this is a little higher than this so let's bring this up a little bit more just like so all right so not the best pencil i've ever had but hello everyone thanks for joining me tonight we're going to be doing the easter critter tonight and hopefully I updated my internet uh, to faster speed so hopefully I won't lose you guys now uh, like I did in the past let me get rid of this one cord that's in my way here there we go so hello James um, all right so let's start with putting on the hat brim and you're gonna come to the back here you're just gonna match these lines you want to make this sure that this is the same size same distance on each side and then over here where his feet are we're just going to make a little just a little bit of a loop there all right again i'm going to measure it and we're going to do it the other side as well i like doing his feet to the side i do like that look so we're going to keep that for now had a nice conversation with my sister in Canada. We did um, a FaceTime, which was really nice. We hadn't done that in a long time. Uh, that was nice, since I haven't seen her in a year. So, but we've done a couple of videos back and forth. Hello, Lisa. We're doing the, the little Easter critter. All right, so anyway, so that was nice to do today. So... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out where the top of the nose is going to be. So we're going to just push it in. Oh, I don't have my tape on. Oh, hang on just a second. That makes it a lot tougher to carve. Because when I have the tape on my thumbs, it helps me to put a lot more pressure on it without bothering my, my thumb. So I'm, I'm going to wrap both of them up for a second. And, uh, and I'll get going again here. Of course, when I try to do things in a hurry, I, things don't go the same way I want them to. Uh, let me cut this off here. I am here. I'm just putting some tape on my thumbs. Okay. Ah, that's much better. Hello, Debbie. So, we did the top notch here. All right. And we're going to go over here to the other side as well. And we're going to notch from straight in and then up the back side and right there notice I push with my thumb so that works out pretty good okay I'm gonna bring this up just a tad so there we go the next thing I do is I take my little V tool and I go around I'm gonna follow this line and just kind of match it up to each corner that I just did 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I just did a video earlier today that's on YouTube about uh, a painting station uh, that I use here. And I use what uh, some people, it's, a, it's an armoire or a computer desk cabinet. And it comes in really handy for different things. I've been using it for, this is what my studio is in as well. Uh, I have one dedicated just for filming. All right, so, um, oh, you're welcome, Mark. I enjoy doing this every week. All right, so we're going to leave that alone right now. We're going to start scooping out here in the center first, okay? Whoops, let me turn that sound off for a second here, folks. Hang on, because I should have done it earlier, and I did not do it earlier. All right. All right, there we go. So we're going to scoop it out in the center here first. And we're just going to keep going a little ways. We're not going to worry too much. And you're going to make your make your ears right at the corner. You just want to bring one down and then the other down. Because it's going to be the hat portion here. You know, kind of give you an idea where to go. And if you, if I, we'll look at the original one. This is going to take a little more time than our normal ones here. See how much we're going to have to cut out from the back, cut out from the front. So I'm going to scoop this out first. All right, just to save us a little more time. Okay, now I'm going to scoop it from, I'm going to start rounding it up to the front. Gonna keep going here. See how far I've got to go yet. But if you look at this, this is really flat, right? So we've got a ways to go in here, but we're gonna figure out where the ears are and then we'll start cutting them out. So the first thing I do is I try to follow that ear first. And this is what's going to take some time to do. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I don't want to cut that ear off. So I'm going to follow that line. All right, just like so. And you're going to do both sides. You're just going to do the front side right now. And it, do a little bit at a time, not as quickly as I did, because then you start chopping stuff on the ear you don't want to chop off. Okay. And I'm going to go back and forth a little bit. And right here in the front, you want to take a, kind of take a look at it. And you kind of want to start scooping this out once you get this, once you get where these ears need to be. So right here, I'm going to come down. I'm going to follow that. We're going to straighten this all out later, but this just gives us an idea of where to go. All right. Same thing over here. So it's good to put those lines on there. Ah, uh, did it freeze? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It shouldn't be freezing. Ah, uh, is it okay now, guys? All right. So we did the sides a little bit, so you want to draw your, your ear on first, and then kind of follow your lines to the ears. Right. Oh good, thank you Elizabeth for letting me know. Um, like I said, I upped the internet here to, to avoid that problem. and. Um, All right, I lost you folks. Hopefully they'll all come back. I thought I solved that problem, but apparently I didn't. So now we're going to start scooping in between here. Just hold it on the table here and kind of scoop it out. 
All right. And we're scooping out in between the ears right now. Hi, Lynn. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start scooping this out as well, a little bit here in the front. All right. On both sides. All right. So right here, we're going to come down a little further again. And we're going to just keep cutting this out here. I'm going to wet this. Uh, I use this spray all the time. I thought I cleared up my problem with the internet. Apparently I did not, it, that did not work. So, um, let me draw this back one here. Because I scooped it out a little bit. And we'll scoop more of it out. But we're just going to follow this out a little bit. This is the hardest part on this thing. It's not a very quick project like some of the others, but it is worth doing it. You know, it, it's just a lot of fun. So I'm going to start chopping around the ear now a little bit more. And we're going to start rounding it towards the front. Let me take this back here for a second and just, just, it's a little easier for me to cut it. All right. We're almost down to where we want it to be on the, on the head here. Just take some strength in your hands to do this. Um, let's see how I'm going to do this here. It's easier when I don't have to do it in front of the camera, but because I can hold it closer to my body and get some leverage on it. There we go. Alright. So there's where we're at right now. Okay. So the ears are the toughest part. If you want to make a gnome without the ears and say if the ears were gone, you just want him holding a um, an egg, that's fine. If the ears don't work out, you can always cut them off <laughs> and make it into a regular hat. All right, so I'm going to start chopping right at the bottom of the base here, like so, just to round it off a little bit. like that. So I need to come all the way back to where the point is. Okay, so if you're looking to cut this off, you're going to have to come all the way to there. Because this has to be kind of flat. So, what I like to do is take the point of my knife and I like to just follow that and then cut it out. And then do it a couple of times till I get it to where I need it. That way you can have a little bit of a curvature. See how I'm curving it a bit? Welcome back everybody. I'm sorry about the video. I've been trying to figure out what's wrong with it. And why I keep losing you people more this time than before. Okay, we're almost to the point where I'm okay with this one ear. I don't know if I have to move the studio a little closer to where my router is in the house. Um, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear it. Uh, Christine, no, I have not thought of doing a fox. I've been asked to do a fox in the past, but I never got around to doing one. Um, so let's do the other side as well. Okay. I'm gonna bring this up. Put 
that out a little bit. Same thing here. We're going to have to cut it back pretty far. Hang on just a second. I need to look at something here. Ew. That's not going to work. Oh, yeah, well, all right. Did a boo-boo, folks. I guess you heard me <laughs> say, oh, that's not going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to work. No, it should. All right. I think we'll be okay. All right. So I'm going to try to round this off a little bit more. And you can shape this off. I thought maybe I did it too far this way instead of going straight across, which I will do now. So what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of do the same thing in the back. You're going to round it out a little bit, all right, on both sides of the ear. So you're just going to start rounding it out a little bit. This may have to come down a little further. This is the only second one I've made of these, so it's not like I made a ton of these yet. But you can see how much work there is in cutting these. Um, definitely more than you think. Let's just turn this, and we're going to make this a little rounded right there. Perfect. That's what I wanted. All right. All right. So we're going to leave that alone that way. All right. We're going to round this point off a little bit more. There we go. And we'll fuss with that a little bit more in, in a bit here. Let's just bring this back a little bit more so they match. Like I said, if I make a mistake when I'm doing this live, there's no way of really repairing it um, or stopping the camera and going back and taking care of it. But, um, all right, so let's scoop this out for it. We're going to bring this down a little bit more, get a little more of a, more of a shape on the hat. All right, we're going to run this off a little bit at the top. I'm going to start on the bottom for right now and get that cut out a little bit more. Perfect. All right, we're going to follow our knife around. And I have no idea what to do next week yet. That's to be determined yet. Um, I might come up. I tried a rabbit this week and I'm gonna be honest with you he looked like the angry rabbit and I thought I don't know if I want an angry Easter rabbit so <laughs> I need to tweak him a little bit um, so I'm gonna I was just doing it out of my head without looking at references and it didn't turn out exactly as I wanted so everything I do you know sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't So, um, let's scoop this out a little bit more. And right here, we want to scoop this out a little bit right there. Kind of blend everything together, of course. Oh, I've done an Easter chick before. It is in, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel or get the DVD. I have a couple of different chicks, um, baby chicks, coming out of an egg. So we're going to round the hat a little bit more here. Oh, the size of this is the ornament size. It's two and a half inches tall by one and a half by one and a half, uh, and it's a block. Okay, so, um, 
Yes, I've made a couple of rabbits in the past, but uh, I wasn't too happy with the angry rabbit I made. So, <laughs> it's like, okay, that's not going to work. So, I might work on him tonight a little bit. But tax season isn't in full swing, so I need to get all my tax stuff done. Which I hate. I hate paperwork. All right, so now we're going to, we'll take a look at this again. Okay, that's pretty well where we want the hat to go. And, you know, you can kind of round this up really nice. And then I'll show you how to clean up the inside of this portion right here. And that's where your gouges will come in very, very handy. So I'm going to take that corner off of there. I'm going to just round that off. And all right, there you go. And I'm going to bring this in just a tiny bit so it looks like it's. All right. Just a little bit. Slice some. All right. So when you get this flat, um, right now I'm using the Rough Rider knife. I am looking to buy, I, I'm waiting for a new knife to come in tomorrow that has a sheep foot on it. This one I had to grind down to make it into that. And I really like this style and this length. If it's too long, it's hard to work with it. Because then you're going to be choking up on your blade like this to work. I rather have my hand on on the handle. Um, so let me see how that other knife does. I might have pocket folding carving knives to sell. I will have to grind them to, and I haven't put a price on them yet. And I don't know how the steel is, so it's a protocol that I'm going to try to put together. So, uh, oh, one big thing, the gouges that I'm going to be using, just to let you know. Um, I ordered a bunch of them. Well, what happened was, uh, apparently in Honeybrook, uh, the post people there, it's not like there's a hundred Zomers in Honeybrook. There's only one. And I don't move every but 30 years. And nothing's been forwarded to my new address here at the farm. <laughs> they sent it as dead mail down to Atlanta. And so it might be a while before I have a couple of sets left, but that will be it for a little while uh, until I can find another supplier. And I might have, I might have other blades, but the only difference is going to be the handle. It's not going to be the blade so much. It's going to be the style of the handle. And, and this is the style of the handle that might we might get. I did an experiment on this one, and it worked pretty well. This is the style I like, and I think it's more comfortable for people. So, uh, but it, they're basically the same blade. Um, they're not any different in that regard. But it, this is more like a dockyard size. It's smaller, um, but it is comfortable. It's not, you know, I use this one quite a bit because I ordered them and I have my own set. But I also like the way this feels because this you can rest right into the back part of your hand when you're when you have a little more control with this one. So, but I may not be able to get the handles anymore like this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'll keep you posted um, as we go. All right. So that's the problem with that. So they're in Atlanta somewhere. The postmaster's looking into it from Honeybrook to see. If I can get them back, otherwise I'm going to be out of a nice pile of money with that. So, um, I wasn't too happy. Alright, so, that's how that worked out. The mail has been so screwed up anyway, in this area. So, okay, so how do we do the inside of the ears? Well, I'll show you real quick. What you want to do at the base of the of where your... I, I, I have it going down a little bit. See? 
to get a little bit of a shadow look to it. And that, I think, makes it a little more interesting. So we're going to go down a little bit, and we're going to take one of these gouges, either one. I'm going to use this one. Um, yeah, I'll use this one. And so you're going to just take it, and you're just going to scoop it out like this. And you're going to stay about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away from the sides. Okay? Kind of just work your way a little deeper in the middle and just kind of scoop it out. If you have any questions, I'll try to catch it online or you can ask me after we're offline. Uh, since now we have two videos I have to put together again this week because it froze, I will have them up on faith, on YouTube in about an hour and a half or so after I'm off of here. It takes a while to convert everything. So, so you can see that both of these work really well, whether you have the other one with the other handle or with this one. It really doesn't make any that, that much difference. But, uh, okay, so that's one ear, okay? Then we're going to do the other ear the same way. And if it doesn't come out clean, just do another swipe in there. So, yes, our, our mail has not uh, been the most reliable lately. And I don't think it's so much our local. Uh, I think it's just the whole way it's run right now since the election and Christmas and COVID and all that stuff. So It's really made it a lot more difficult. I'm trying to see if I can smooth that out a little bit. All right. Anyway, so... Again, you're going to take your knife and you're going to you're going to put it down like 15 degrees or so into the hat. Just from you're not not going to go all the way across. Just from there, you're going to push down more in the center and then pull it back out. Hello, Jim. And same thing. You're just going to go very slowly, a little bit at a time. And uh, this is a kind of fun thing to do. Because you can okay. all right, so because I've been waiting for these new gouges to come in for the last like month and a half, and it's been nerve-wracking. I was able to find another supplier, but not reliable either, so um, I'll keep searching. But I'm not going to sell anything I'm not happy with. I will not do that. Okay, that's my hot chocolate. It's still hot chocolate time. It certainly got colder here in PA. It was warm last week, near 50, 55 and now it's back in the 30s again. And I think everybody's dealing with that same thing. All right. Oh, Marvin the cat's over here. What's the matter, Marvin? I know. I'll be off of here in a minute. Okay, so uh, Marvin's our not new cat, but he's our other farm cat around here. He's been around for a little while. I've been letting him in a little bit more. Okay, so that's how the ears are done, and, you know, I'm going to fuss with this more, but let's start with the body portion. Uh, here we go. We're going to put a nice big nose in, like we always do. I like a big nose. I think... Marvin wants to go outside, but he's going to have to wait a little bit. I recommend people to wear a glove, especially if you're a beginner, but I don't wear a glove, but that's a choice. Uh, but if you take my classes here at the farm, you do wear a glove and a thumb guard. I usually use two thumb guards. But yes, I highly recommend it, especially for beginners. Mm. 
All right, so you notch the bottom part out and then um, you do the sides. And remember when you cut, you're going to cut straight in. See how the corner is? That's how you're going to cut this section out in the same way. Um, as far as the glove con controversy, I know there's some carvers that won't wear it. Some people will. Uh, but I do recommend for beginners to always wear one. Um, that's just... And some people, when they have a glove on, they think they can carve without any problem. And that's not true either, because I've seen people cut right through the glove. It depends what they're doing. They can still stab themselves with a glove on. Uh, you can still cut yourself, and sometimes it gives you a security, a false sense of security, uh, then, then it really does protect. But it does help you. It will lessen the severity of a cut, for sure. All right, there's the nose. Now, uh, the feet, and we're going to put where he's holding the little... Egg. So let's put an egg in the center because it goes right down to the bottom here. So we're going to do the shape of an egg. I'm going to measure this on each side so it's a pretty well the way I want it to be. And Marvin is not happy that I'm not giving him the attention right now. Marvin's the cat. And Lily isn't following me all the time. Alright, so that's the one thing. And then on either side of... We do a little square. So what I do is I just do a little... Right here I'll do just a square. Just like so. Okay? And the same thing on the other side. A little square. Or a rectangle. Uh, I try to even that up on both sides. Bring this down a little bit more. Alright. So. <laughs> uh, Marvin, they want to see you. Where'd you go? Oh, now he's not here. Where'd you go? Here. Come here, Marvin. Oh, later on. I'll show you a picture of Marvin when we get off of here. Um, what I do with... I take the V tool again, and I'm going to follow... First, I'm going to follow the feet. And the feet are just two... Two um, little, like, u shape in the front. It's not a sitting one because we have his feet kind of sticking out from underneath. So, um, okay, this one, and we're going to do the next one the same way. This, actually, the V tool is such a handy tool to have for so many different things. It really is. It's it's worth its weight in gold sometimes. For many years I've never used one and I'm so glad I've learned to use one. It's uh, very, very handy to have one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to make this a little deeper. So his feet are really sticking out. Now in the back portion here what I do is I just keep going right around like so. And I cut this out and cut that out. There you go. I just follow it through. All right, so if you were to do it with the V tool, um, hello, Karen. Um, you're just following it out this way. Okay, right there, and you're following it right out. All right, we're doing the, uh, if you just joined us, we're doing the Easter critter. But I like to use a knife for this portion. Just bring it all the way back and around. And then I'm going to chop this out a little bit more. 
All right. Very good. There we go. And again, I'm going to deepen this as well. Hello, Dave. All right. Good. So the back side, we're just going to kind of trim that up. So we're going to bring this in. Right here, we're going to cut this straight across. Cut that out. Get rid of all that hard stuff. Right here, we're going to bring that in a little bit more. Cut that off. So that's the back side. Let's take a look how that looks. Okay. Good. Now, I just went to Walmart today for my normal shopping. And, of course, when I'm there, I always go to the craft section and I look at the paints. So I bought a lot of pastel colored Easter paint that you can use. I mixed all this from regular um you know the pink you can make it a lot lighter or darker um it's up to you but um the one color that i missed was the purple so i might make a couple of these and do different colors um of the eggs and you know the way it is so it's all up to you and how you want to do it there's no right or wrong way of doing it none whatsoever so let's chop a little bit off the top here of the egg Okay, and what I'm going to do is we're going to follow the egg portion first. Whoops, let me get the other B tool. So from the top here, I'm going to just follow the outside of that egg. Okay, on that line. All right. And then we'll fix that up in a second here on both sides. All right, there we go. And then... Uh, we're going to trim this back a little bit more. I like it nice and deep underneath the nose or have a little more depth to it. And so when we do this, uh, this will work out just fine. Right there at the corner. Okay, we'll round that off a little bit on both sides. I do like a pocket knife. They have a couple of these knives that have all the, like, the gouges and the V-tool. And I bought one of them, and they were the most unhandiest, the handiest thing. I like the the tools that are permanent when it comes to uh, the gouges and V-tool. Uh, a pocket knife, I want to be a pocket knife. I don't want all this bulkiness in my hand when I'm, uh, I'm carving. But, like I said, once I figure out... A nice knife I'll probably have a few up for sale on that but I haven't decided which one I want to go with Rough Rider I've always liked Rough Rider but their prices are getting a little steep depending which one you get and I don't know if the quality is there like it was before so um, but I do like the style of their knives um, I think they're they're pretty good so we're gonna just do we're just gonna follow this out around and we're gonna put that we're going to put those hands there in a second. So, all right. So we're going to bring this down because the egg is rounded at the bottom. And I'm going to bring this up. You know, and you can adjust this any way you want. But you want to make sure you take all the rough stuff off. If you don't, it's not going to paint right. You're going to get darker blotches where the rough areas are. Now, so one person asked me, well, do you ever, um, ever sand these? No, I just use my knife. Um, if you start sanding and you don't sand it right, then you're going to end up with all kinds of... All right, let me see. Okay, let's see if we can get this off of here a little bit. So now 
remember where we had those little a hand we're just gonna put a little square a rectangle whatever you want to call it what I do here let me take a look how I did this one here okay you can use your v-tool to go around it but you don't want to go in too deep so we'll go one little swipe this way okay one going across one going across and you'll clean it up with your knife in a minute here one down one across and and then you clean the rest up with your knife okay so what I do now is I just kind of recut it a little bit on each one and then I blend that in it looks like it's sticking out there we go right here we're gonna just make that a little bit more noticeable and really all you're gonna do is put two or three little notches in here I'm just gonna put two one all right one Let's see if I can a little V V cut with your with your knife one and two okay and then I round it off a little bit I get rid of that corner that little corner just little things like that can make the biggest difference all right and that's all you have to do now meanwhile you're gonna clean this all up and I'm going to let me bring this back here for a second so I can just hurry up and get this done a little quicker uh, you didn't lose me I'm just over here trying to uh, speed things along a little bit okay now I like the feet sticking out of the side a little bit more so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more um, I'm not sure what I'll do another Easter um, like I said that bunny did not turn out the way I wanted it to and uh, yeah, I have to wait to see if I can correct him, get him not angry. The angry rabbit, that's kind of funny. I just looked at that and I started laughing. I thought, gee whiz. You just never know when you carve something what it's really going to turn out to be. You know, I have something in my head, but it doesn't always mean that's what, what comes to life, so to speak. So... Let me get rid of this here. You want it a little bit rounded, not much. When you look at it from the side, I'm going to try to get rid of all this, blend all this stuff in a little more. There we go. Okay, so we we got the hand in there. Let's see if we can blend that in a little bit more. There we go. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of doing that, uh, Jack, uh, earlier today, but I ran out of time. Um, I had a couple things I had to take care of, and um, I might do a bigger version of it. That's a good idea. I just might do that for next week. Thank you, Jack. Because then I'll have a small critter and a big critter for each each season. Um, <laughs> yeah, an Easter bunny with an attitude. Yeah, it it looked like it had an attitude to me. I had a friend look at it and said, what do you think? She goes, I don't think it's angry. She goes, it's kind of cute. And I go, well, I see it as angry. And it was just funny. So, I'm going to put my little notch in there for the fingers. For one. Two. And then I'll just round off the corners a little bit. Okay, it looks like he's holding something now. Okay, that's how. Uh... All right, so what happens now is we're going to blend everything together. Uh, if you want, you got to make sure all your stuff is off the hats here. Uh, all the rough stuff is off. And 
I will say this Rough Rider is it's a stainless steel 440. And it is not the easiest to sharpen. But once it's sharpened, it stays like that for a while. Not super long, but it, for a while. Um, some metals are going to be better to hold up than others. Um, that's true with any of them, but it all depends how you use your tool. If you're doing a lot of this scraping, that's a no-no. Um, you know, if you're doing anything but cutting with it, it's going to uh, shorten the life of your blade. All right, so let's get this done over here. Marvin has left the building. <laughs> I don't know where he is. All right, I'm going to round off his nose a little bit more. Okay, so now time to put... Well, the shoes is pretty simple. We just want to make sure you round off the bottoms a little bit. You take all that hard stuff off so when you put your little dots on it. And like I said, you can put dots on it. You can put uh, you know any color combination you want. But I would leave the beard white that would make sense um would make everything else stand out a little bit more um, but that's up to you you can do it any which way you want there's no right or wrong way of doing it okay so uh that's it right there let me see if i can just trim some of that off a little bit more sometimes the blade isn't long enough but for the most part it's pretty good i like a blade that's about an inch and a quarter long or an inch inch is a little short but an extra quarter um, does make a difference on it all right now visual time to put some hair on this puppy okay so i always start i always start with the nose and so we're just gonna go up a little bit now if you don't have it free up you you want to go ahead and just take your knife, and, and that usually takes care of it. Now, if it does get a little harder to get underneath here, just take your time. You don't stick too much into the hat. That's the hard part, okay? Now, I'm going to go, this is going to go down this way. Okay, you see how this is going down? I'm going to have it fan out a little bit more. So, uh, I'm going to try to... And you want to try to go in different directions. Now, after you do it, you can go back and put another little line in between. That works out pretty good. And then just kind of, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to work on the bottom and to the, to the shoe. And slowly around the hands and to the egg there. You want to just be very careful that you don't slice anything out you don't want to slice out. And you notice I'm taking little strokes right now. That's the best way to do that. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with it. I, if you didn't join me earlier, I did make a small video on my little um, way of a painting station that I have and how I created it out of a, 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 a computer desk cabinet or an armoire. I think that's how they say it. But anyway, so that's how the critter is made. But um, it really, those amours are great. I usually find the ones that are the desks that have the slide out. And I'm this is where my studio is in because I don't have to set everything up every time. I can just shut the doors and it's done um, until the next time I decide. And it's also my carving area uh, here. I've made it into it like a combo, a combo of stuff, but uh, it's really been uh, handy to have them. I have one as an office, and I need one more for a couple things. And where do I find them? <laughs> Marketplace on Facebook. You can get them almost for free, especially if people are moving and all that. It's not. I think I paid sixty bucks for three of them, and I use all three. I love it. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple more for the barn so when I start organizing stuff there I can put uh, like electrical tools or something into one and vice versa and just shut it and it'll be a lot neater. 
All right, Marvin, I hear you. I thought you left. You're still here. Okay. I know. You know the pandemic has started too long when you start talking to the cat. He's a good boy. All right, I'm work. I always work towards the edge, as you notice. I don't because there's no way of getting in between there. Marvin is actually my neighbor's cat, but he wandered over here to this farm, so um, and they know he's here, and um, he goes out every so often and. In a day or so, he comes back. You know, he's a farm cat. He likes to hunt and all that. So there we go, folks. There's our Easter critter. All right. And I hope you enjoyed this little, little um, video. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more right there. And I'll fuss with this a little bit more when I get offline and blend this stuff kind of better together. It's okay in the front. It's the back part. All right. But um, that's how they're made. And I will, Jack, I will make a bigger one with feet next week. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. All right. Uh, folks, have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, and we'll probably see you next Tuesday. And if you get a chance to um, to take a look at the painting station that I have, feel free to look at that and look for those uh, computer desks. They are wonderful for that. Um, they're very handy. All right. Take care and God bless and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, folks.